Hello, and welcome to This Week in Pembroke. I'm Pembroke Town Manager Bill Chenard. We have a pretty light week for meetings. However, I'll flag and note one of them. Uh, prior to our next meeting on Monday, next Monday, the planning board will have a meeting at 7 p.m. in Veterans Hall at Pembroke Town Hall. I have a bunch of announcements and, and topics for discussion in addition to meetings, however, so I'm going to jump right into those. Uh, good news for voters and the town, the select board and the town clerk are very excited to announce that uh, we have uh, moved our voting precincts. Everyone will be voting at the community center. So all five or actually six now precincts will be voting at the community center. This will be for the primary uh, the day after Labor Day. So and then all future uh, elections after that. So that's the community center at 128 Center Street. So. Town Clerk will be sending out postcards. In fact, I watched her yesterday, uh, prepared thousands of them. So uh, take a look at the postcard if you want, or just remember that you, your precinct will now be at 128 Center Street, the new community center. So uh, next item I want to talk about is uh, actually tonight, Tuesday, uh, July 30th, High Street Water Main will be flushed. Uh, they'll start early evening and, and run through uh, midnight, potentially into the early morning hours uh, of tomorrow. Uh, that should clear some some water issues with some work we're doing and uh, you know make the water uh, more presentable and, and at very clear. Our water is actually very, very good. The, the, the testing results for Pembroke are excellent. Uh, we do obviously have some brown water, but we're working through those issues and, and in the future. Uh, our water will be almost perfect. So excited about that. Uh, I wanted to talk about some recycling delays. Unfortunately, the facility where we dump our recycling in Avon had a fire. Uh, that's resulted in, in us having to tra drive all of the recycling uh, to Rochester and other areas of the Commonwealth to, to tip. So there are some delays in that. Be patient. Uh, trucks will get to them. Uh, and keep, keep an eye on the town's website for some updates on that as we move through that 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 issue and, and find out how long that's going to uh, be occurring so i want to talk about construction on center street that's the route 36 project from the center through to the halifax line uh, we are uh, commencing construction again they're going to be milling which means grinding the, the existing pavement up uh putting a new base coat down and then a top coat on top of that over the next several weeks so that you know, if you can avoid it, avoid it. If you can't, uh, leave a little early because there will be some delays there. So uh, other construction of construction on Oldham Street uh, and West Elm is uh, hopefully wrapping up soon. That is the, the construction uh, being done by Eversource Gas uh, to replace gas mains over there. And the Eversource is also doing work on High Street uh, to replace some gas mains there to prevent uh, they had some some leaks on High Street, and this will uh, you know prevent future leaks by improving their their maintenance. So both of those roads will be paved afterwards. In fact, the town is you know, working to make sure that happens um, as quickly as possible after the uh, work is completed by by Eversource. Uh, I want to talk about pond testing. As of our last test, all of our ponds were usable and well below the uh, uh, limit for. Um, contamination or the bacteria. It's not really contamination, it's a bacteria account. So very good. The results will be coming in again um, in the next day or so. Um, so look at the town's website. Uh, you can uh, just uh, Google pond testing in Pembroke and it will come right up for you. Um, and so right now, excellent. You know, enjoy the ponds. It's going to get warm again this week. The humidity levels are going to be in the 90s again. Uh, you know, so so take a dip in our ponds. You know, if you don't know where they are, we have four beaches that are available to folks. Uh, again, the town's website, pembroke-ma.gov. Uh, we'll and just search beaches and it'll come up and show you where all four beaches are. So we certainly get out and enjoy those. Uh, wanted to talk about uh, Triple E and West Nile virus. Um, you know, something we need to be aware of. And I will highlight this every week through the summer months into the fall. Uh, Pembroke is still, uh, as of the 26th, uh, according to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, a uh, low community. Plymouth County has some uh, areas that are a little bit higher. Um, we are low for both West Nile and Tripoli at this point. Um, still no human or animal cases. These are test results and the, the ratings by the Commonwealth are based on mosquito samples uh, that have come positive for Tripoli and West Nile. Those numbers are still 
relatively low throughout the Commonwealth, um, not huge numbers, but uh, it always is important to caution. It only takes one bite of an infected mosquito to, uh, you know, to, to get that there. I want to highlight uh, a couple of areas. I'm actually going to uh, talk about schools, um, you know, when I'm looking at recreational facilities and places to go. Uh, Pembroke High School and um, the Habermas Elementary School on Learning Lane both have terrific facilities for sports. There's some, some soccer fields or you know, multi-use fields at the Habermas Elementary School and the high school obviously has the track uh, and some other areas. Terrific area for exercise and walking and running. Uh, get out and enjoy those. And I, you know, as we continue through the summer, I will continue to flag our recreational areas for us. Um, you know, enjoy it. Um, you know, take take precautions for what I said the triple in the West now, but get out and enjoy it. Get get some exercise, get some uh, ex extra air, some vitamin D from the sun if you're out there during the day. Uh, that concludes this week's uh, episode of This Week in Pembroke. I will see you again next week.